Hey there, it's Mike Anderson from Gear Diary here to look at the Polar RC3 uh, GPS watch. Now I have here the GPS watch itself and I also have Polar's heart rate monitor. So let's just first take a look at, at these components. So you've got the heart rate monitor which you strap around your chest so that this sensor, which actually then has, let's see, I don't, may not even be able to see it, but a couple of uh, electrodes right there, uh, which would then go along your chest underneath your heart. Now this actually snaps off so that you can see that where the electrodes themselves are has a single replaceable battery snaps into place easily enough. And then you would just simply wet this side and then also really your chest would be best as well to establish the contact and then it immediately picks up on your heart rate and goes. So that's that's kind of the easy thing. Oh, and one other thing worth mentioning is that this is an Ant Plus uh, connection. So anything that supports the Ant Plus wireless um, wireless technology will work with this. So it's not just for Polar devices. So a number of other things such as uh, the Nike Plus watch and that would use this as well. So. It's great when there's not much else to say other than the fact that it just works. So this is the Polar RC3 watch um, and you can see it's got the, the basic time and number of functions uh, around there. It's got you know, solid strap, fairly wide strap and something worth showing underneath here is that it has micro USB integrated underneath here but it's also got little magnets which are kind of hard to see in this this view which hold that in place. Now your start stop functionality is right here so I press the start and it'll show my little guy running and it's actually looking for two different sensors uh, kind of hard to see the little flashing things but one of them it's looking for the heart rate monitor but since I don't have it connected to me right now um, it's not really going to find it and the other thing is searching out the GPS. You have things like you've got your light can go back so we can basically cancel that. Now the light here you really can barely even see. I can barely see if it's on there. You've got a lap timer um, which also in this mode goes down to date, settings, uh, you know, fitness test. It has a bunch of data uh, settings for you there. And again hit the back button and now come in here and it's the same sort of thing. So now you're going back in through this menu. So, um, Polar markets this as a couple of things. First off, it, it continues their tradition of excellent heart rate monitoring equipment. So that's really where I knew them before I knew they, or before they even had a GPS was, I had a couple of friends who used their stuff for indoor workouts to do heart rate based training. Uh, this continues that tradition, so you get in the box you get the heart rate monitor, but it also has a GPS to compete with the Nikes and Garmin's and so on of the world. Um, but they market it as a fitness computer and what you'll notice is as, uh, and I don't have it in here right now, but if you, well actually why don't we just see if I can. I'll do that, hit the data and I'll do some training files and there we go. So now all of a sudden I have all of these different all of these different ones that I can page through. So you can see I can kind of move through and if I just choose one and then I've got maximum training and I can start to go through and I can find all of the information that's in there. And it brings me back to all my other training and there you go. So rather than just being a kind of a passive watch like say the Nike or uh, in particular the Garmin where you really need to save your data and then get it downloaded to the Garmin site as quickly as possible. This stores a, a pretty vast amount of data. The battery lasts seemingly forever. It's barely registering. I've charged it only you know, just a little bit just to sync it up, but I've intentionally not been too worried about it. So it's got a long-lasting battery, which is certainly a, one less concern compared to uh, the low-end Garmin uh, that I've been using. And 
it also tracks all of your heart rate and so when you do sync up to the polar uh, personal fitness site suddenly you have all of this vast amount of graphs and raw data things you can export to a number of sites and I'll include some screenshots for that in the review uh, just micro USB cable I did have some issues getting the uh, synchronization software installed uh, the polar support people were excellent at helping me through uh, some issues um, it really didn't end up resolving too well but they gave me you know every every possible amount of help I wasn't able to get it to work on the Mac but on two different PCs I did get it to work so I was happy to be able to do that and be able to get that synchronized so um, in terms of accuracy repeatability reliability I was really happy with the way that the Polar RC3 uh, performed. It kept track. It it actually tracks up pretty well. So it didn't. I didn't leave it going long enough to find the location. But it, it's a strong enough GPS that it will uh, find the location from within the house. So the Nike, I, I have problems in this area. So it's just based on the satellites it's using. The Garmin is not as strong of a GPS. So I find that I have to sit it on the windowsill before, you know, on a cold morning, before it will find the location. This one will find it pretty much anywhere in the house eventually. So I can do that as I'm getting ready in the morning. Put it on, hit the hit that screen, and, and get it to sync up that way. So everything else will be in the review itself and in the description. Polar RC3 GPS uh, from Polar is an excellent uh, GPS watch, really. Um, you know, whether or not there'll be some comparative notes in there, uh, so whether or not you would choose this over something else, that's a fairly subjective thing, but I was impressed with this compared to some other competitive watches. And again, everybody is at somewhat of a disadvantage dealing with uh, competing against Garmin. Uh, but Polar does a really good job at branching beyond their typical heart rate monitors into uh, the GPS field. It's Mike from Gear Diary. Thanks for watching.